Praise the Lord, Saints. Apostle Dr. Clifford E. Turner here. I want to give you an update and uh, a word of great appreciation for making Convocation 2015 a phenomenal success. Um, the theme of the meeting, Arise, Pursue, Overtake, and Recover All. Certainly that theme was resounded throughout the whole Convocation. It was just amazing. I am grateful to God for all of the cooperation that we had in making Convocation 2015 a phenomenal success. Thank you. Right now, my wife and I are working on Convocation 2016. Amen. And we are trusting God with your continual prayers that we will build on each convocation and make the next even more anointed and a greater impartation. I know that we have your continued help and, and uh, I pray that we can make this an open convocation eventually of all around the country. In Jesus' name, like in Philly, and eventually in San Diego, and eventually in Orlando, and, and other places as the Spirit of God leads. Can't do it without you. One thing about ministry, beloved, you can count on this. You cannot do ministry by yourself. Jesus himself, who was God, elected to have 12 disciples, then turn apostles. If he needed help and he was God, how much help do I need? <laughs> I just know that you can't do this by yourself. And I'm glad that um, team ministry was evident in 2015, together everyone accomplishing much. And I'm still hearing praise reports about what went on at Convocation and the speakers and the anointing and the Christian camaraderie and the Christian solidarity was just phenomenal. And I'm grateful to God, and I can attribute it to the prayers of the saints. If you ain't praying, God ain't moving. And I know you have been praying, and I pray that you will continue to pray in Jesus' name. want to ask you to please itinerate this on your very busy schedules. Amen. Uh, school of the Scribe, uh, this grace that is on this woman of God is phenomenal. And I believe that whatever gifts that operate in your life, God's going to use her to sharpen them. For truly iron sharpens iron. You need to be here. That's September 25th or the 27th. Amen. 7 p.m. nightly. Praise God. I promise you, you will be changed for the better. Also want to remind you about uh, another portion of our leadership summit, October the 9th through the 11th. Three days of prayer, three days of prophecy and impartation. Amen. The great man of God, all the way from Ghana, Prophet Victor Bolton. He will be here to bless your sanctified socks off your feet. You're going to need to itinerate your schedules to be at this meeting. Amen. Prophet, uh, Prophet Victor uh, Boding, I have heard uh, nothing but tremendous praise reports about this man of God. I also want to remind you that I promised God that every three months we would have a shut-in. Our last shut-in was tremendous in having the cooperation of the saints around the country was phenomenal. And I believe that there was even an overflow of anointing that flowed into our convocation. Our shut-in 
The next one is October the 30th. Amen? In your various churches around the country. October the 30th is the day where all of the network shuts in, seek the face of the Lord. Amen? Little prayer, little power, big prayer, big power. No prayer, no power. God said my people must pray. Because if we ain't praying, God is not moving. And I know you want to see a move of God. I sense that we are right. Right at the beginning of something great. I sense in my sanctified spirit that God is about to do something phenomenal. I continue to ask you for prayer for my, myself, my wife, our family, our network, the businesses connected with our network, that Jesus will be Lord and that the kingdom of God will have a tremendous amount of expansion through what God is doing through our network. I certainly thank you. I certainly can't call you all by name, but I pray that this message is sufficient in me sharing with you how important you are. Each one can reach one. I need you. God needs you. The kingdom of God needs you. And don't let no devil in or out of hell tell you anything different. Amen? Talk to me. Only love can drive out hate. Hate cannot drive out hate. And as people in the kingdom of God, there's a spirit of hatred in the land. And God wants this spirit driven out by the power of God. First John 4 and 8 said, For God is love. And only love can drive out hate. A great man, 40 plus years ago made that statement. His name was Martin Luther King Jr. And it's certainly very applicable to us today. Continue to pray, saints. Continue to press. Continue to do the will of God and watch God do great things. Remember, if God can get it through you, God will give it to you. God bless you. Grace and peace to every house represented part of this phenomenal Liberty Temple Full Gospel Church Network to every one of you. And may God bless you in the upcoming weeks and months and holiday times. Be blessed.